Okay, so we're given line one is passing through this point two, three. So here's my point, let's say two minus three, five. And it's parallel to this line. So here is the line, let's say it's here's my line. Okay, and so if it's gonna be parallel, I want it to have the same direction. So I want it to have this direction vector, and that direction vector is going to be four, negative seven, one here. And it's gonna go here. This is my direction vector, four, negative seven, one. And in doing so, I'll be able to create the line as I change the parameter t, makes this vector longer or shorter, in, or opposite direction, and I get every point on the line. So I'm gonna take my r, my equation line, is going to be, I take my point, which is two minus three, five, plus my parameter t times my direction vector four, negative seven, one. And this is one of the many equations for L1. Now it says that show that this point is on the line. Well, if that point, negative 10, 18, two is on the line, that means, so B part, it means it satisfies this equation. So negative 10, 18 and two is equal to two minus three, five is equal to this equation of the line. In order for this to be true, I know that t here has to be the same for x, y, and z. So I'm gonna go over here and make three equations. So negative 10 is equal to two plus four t, which means I subtract this, I get negative 12 is equal to four t, and so I get t is equal to negative three. Now I have to check it for the other ones. 18 equal to minus three, plus a negative seven times a negative three. Well, this is the minus three plus 21, which is 18, that one is good. And finally to do with the last one, two is equal to five plus negative three times one, which is five minus three, which is indeed two. So therefore it is, this point is on the line because our parameter is consistent for all three, for component x, y, and z. And then show that the point represented by this position vector is not an L1. Well, if it's a position vector, for this is the point six minus three, four. So same premise, what we'll do here is we'll take our two minus three, five, plus t, four minus seven, one. And we know it's gonna, well, let's make it equal to six minus three, four. And so we're gonna make four, and what's gonna happen is this t value is not gonna be consistent for all three components, x, y, and z. So if I take six is equal to two plus four t, I know then I get subtract two, I get four is equal to four t, and so t is equal to one. This is for the x value. For the y value, I get negative three is equal to negative three plus uh, negative seven t. Subtract that, I get zero is equal to negative seven t, and so t is equal to zero. Already I can see that they're not the same. I'll just do the last one just for fun. For, and so I get four is equal to five plus t. Subtract the five and I get negative one is equal to t. And I get three different t values for this scenario, which again reemphasize that it is not on the line, therefore not on L1.